Yeah, so that happened. I released four new widgets in one day. So I probably should have done the smart thing and released one new widget every week for the next four weeks, but I just couldn't wait. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with widgets and I wanted to share these widgets with you to help you do more in Adobe Muse. Uh, so this is gonna be a quick video tutorial, uh, just a quick overview of the four new widgets. If you're part of the subscription, you received an email yesterday with the four new widgets, and I also released an email this morning. The widgets can also be found at museforyoushop.com. So let's get started. Muse for you, awesome websites without code. So the four widgets that have been added to the shop are image text, scroll show, the water ripple effect, and the fixed background parallax effect. So I'm gonna go through each of these widgets one by one and kind of showcase uh, what e each widget does. So the first one I'll go through is image text and I'll cl click on preview. And here we can see we have text with an image fill. So here we have muse for you. We have fire with an image of fire in the background. We have image text and muse for you. So you can add any image to the background of the text to fill that text with, uh, with that image. So that's the image text widget. So now let's go to the scroll show widget. Uh, this widget is a lot of fun. Um, so you can have multiple elements reveal themselves on scroll, or you could have just a few elements reveal. So as I scroll down, we can see these elements are being revealed. And as I scroll up, they reveal again. So this widget is similar to the simple and sweet on scroll animations widget. Uh, this widget just has better mobile support and there's more custom customization with the animations that you can have for the elements as they reveal on scroll. All right, so there's the scroll show widget and the next widget is the water ripple effect. And I'll preview this. This widget is a lot of fun. So when I hover over these images, we have this water ripple effect. When I click, it creates a ripple. Looks good. I don't know how well it shows here on the video, but when you go and preview um, on the preview page, it looks really nice. And you can add it to a full screen background. Looks good. All right, so that's the third widget. The fourth widget is the fixed background parallax effect. Um, this widget has been requested quite a bit and this was kind of achieved with the parallax image background widget, but that had a few issues with breakpoints. So this widget was created to address that issue and to just allow you to create a fixed background parallax effect. So if I click on preview, I scroll down, we can see we have the, the image that's fixed and when you scroll, the website scrolls past the image. So those are the four widgets that have been added. I'm gonna quickly show how to use each widget. So let's get started. So the first widget I'm gonna go over is the image text widget. So I'll go to the library panel here to the right. If you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. So here in the library panel, I'm gonna type in image text and I'll just click, hold, and drag and place on the Adobe Muse website. So here in the widget options, we can select an image. So I'll click add file and I'll select an image here. Uh, we'll do this one. And you can change the image position on the X axis on the, and the Y axis. It's in percentage. And you can also customize the text. So you can change the paragraph tag. You can enter the text. The font size for this, I'm gonna set it to 7.5. Uh, the font size is in M's, so 1M is, is equal to 16 pixels. You can set the font weight, the letter spacing, the line height, the text transform, and the text align. So here for the text transform, I'll set it to uppercase. And there we go. And you can also change the font type. So you just select the widget, then go to the text option right up here. Click the drop down, and I'll change it to Roboto Black here, so it's a little bit bolder. And there we go. So now when I preview, we have that image behind the text. So that image is filling the text. And just as one more example, I'll copy this widget. And 
for each new instance of the widget, you want to change the instance number. So I'll just change it to two. And there we go. I'll, I'll change the image and I'll select this one here. And on Internet Explorer browsers, they don't support uh, the, the text with an image fill. So the Internet Explorer fallback text color will be used instead. Okay, and I'll change it to some kind of unique font here. So I'll change it here to Trojan color concept. And there we go. So you can select any web font for the, the text, just select the widget and use the Adobe Muse built-in text option. Okay, there we go. So you can get really creative with this widget and add a lot of styling to your Adobe Muse website. We can see it kind of gets cut off there at the top, so you might just want to add a little bit more line height. So they're spacing at the top and the bottom of the text. All right, looks good. So let's move on to the next widget, and that is the scroll show widget right here. So I'll just delete these two, go to the library panel, type in scroll show, and I'll click, hold and drag. Yeah, click, hold and drag and place the widget onto my Adobe Muse website. So here we can see we have the graphic style name, we have the origin, and we have the animation. Okay, so I'll quickly showcase this. So I'll create a rectangle. I'll hold down shift to create a perfect square, and I'll create a 200 by 200 rectangle. I'll fill this rectangle with an image, say scale to fill, and position it in the center. And then I'll select the rectangle, I'll go to the graphic styles panel. If you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click graphic styles. Then I'll click on this icon here and I'll double click here where it says style to change the graphic style name. And I'll call this show one because that is the graphic style name that is in the widget here, show one. So I'll just copy this a few times and just like that like that, and I'll change the image for each one. Okay, there we have the four images. I'll align them to each other, so I'll select Align to Selection, and I'll distribute uh, the horizontal centers. Perfect. All right, and I'll copy this a few more times, and just create kind of a, a grid of these images. Um, this is not how you have to use the widget, but this is just to demonstrate what it does. All right, so I have these images here. They all have the graphic style name show one. So now if I preview in the browser and I scroll, the images reveal on scroll. Perfect, and I can change the animation. So here I can go to the animation. I can set the duration of the reveal. So if I say one second, uh, 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. I can set the delay. I can set when to use the delay. I can say always, once, or on load. The view factor one waits till the entire image is within the browser, so I can say one. And point two is like 20% of the image is within the browser. I can rotate it on the X axis, the Y and the Z axis. I can set the initial opacity before it reveals itself and the scale. So I can say uh, the scale, so it'll start at zero and then it will show the entire image. And we can choose from uh, these different easing options as well to change the, the way it comes in. Okay, you can select play on mobile and repeat on scroll. You can also set the viewport offset. So if you have a fixed header, you can say 50, you know, at the top. Let's say the header was 50 pixels. You can set the offset to 50 so that the scroll show knows that 50% or 50 pixels of the top of the browser is being used and it will adjust accordingly. Okay. And you can set the origin, so I can say come in from the left, and the origin distance, I can say how many pixels from the left I want it to sh come in from. And you can set the distance measurement in pixels or percentage. And I'll preview. So now it's gonna come in 200 pixels from the left. It's gonna rotate, and just like that, we have the scroll show. Okay, I am gonna make more in-depth tutorials on each one. I'm just moving fairly quickly just to showcase how to use the widget. So this can be a great idea for revealing elements on scroll, whether it's like four elements, you know, coming in from the left or the right, you can just have them easily reveal on scroll. You could have two graphic style names 
for the left and the right and just reveal them as they come into the browser. Looks good. All right, let's move on to the next widget. The next one is the water ripple effect. And this one's fairly simple. So let me just delete all this here. So I'll go to the library panel. I'll type in water ripple and we want to add the water ripple effect at first. So here I'll click, hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse and let's do the full screen first. So it, within the widgets, we have full screen and graphic style. Full screen will be applied to the entire uh, background image. So to add a background image, you want to click anywhere outside of the page and then you'll have the option up here that says browser fill. So click browser fill, then click on add image. And here I'll just select an image and we'll do this one here and I'll say scale to fill position in the center and take scrolling off. I don't want the image to scroll with the website because it kind of stretches the entire background image. Um, and just like that, we have the water ripple effect applied to this entire image. Yeah. And I can select any other image. I can select this image here and I'll preview. And there we have the water ripple effect. Looks good. You can set the, the different options within the widget. It's all described here. You can set the drop radius, perturbance, resolution. If I set the resolution to higher, um, it'll be smooth. The ripples will be smoother, but it might look a bit slower uh, depending on your graphics card or how quick your computer is. So there we have really smooth ripples. I really like that. Ooh, looks nice. And we'll do one more image. And I'll go back to this one just to see the smooth ripples on this one. You can see those really nice ripples. Perfect. All right, and we'll do the graphic style. So let me remove this image in the background. So with the graphic style widget, you can just create a rectangle, fill the rectangle with an image. And I'll select an image here, say scale to fill and position it in the center. And so I'll place it here. Then I'll go to the library panel, type in water ripple and I'll bring in the water ripple effect graphic style. So I'll click, hold and drag, place right in there. And the graphic style name is ripple one. So I'll click on the rectangle, go to the graphic styles panel, click on the icon here, creates a new style. I'll double click on style and rename this to ripple one. And just like that, we have the water ripple effect applied to this image. So you can have multiple images. I mean, I could just uh, copy and paste this and just change the image. And let me resize it a bit to 300. So they all fit in here. And I could just change the image for each one. and I'll preview and each of them have the water ripple effect looks good all right so that's the water ripple effect again the the definitions of each uh, widget option are here so you can change the drop radius perturbance and resolution and you can also take the interactivity off which kind of disables the whole effect but it's just an easy way to click off the effect in case you wanted to see the images without the effect Okay, so that's the water ripple effect. You can add it to the full screen to the entire browser or to individual images on your Adobe Muse website. Okay, so the last widget is the fixed background parallax effect. So this one here. So this one's fairly simple as well. So I'll delete all this here. So here I'll go into the library panel. I'll type in fixed background parallax effect and I'll click, hold and drag, place right in there. And here we just have a graphic style name and you can disable it at a certain breakpoint. Um, the fixed background parallax effect doesn't work great on mobile devices. So you can disable the effect at a certain breakpoint and just have the image, the images scroll with the rest of the website. 
So here for this one, just create a rectangle, uh, set the rectangle to stretch the browser width within the resize option right up here. Uh, fill the rectangle with an image. And I'll say scale to fill and position it in the center. And let's see, I'll make it a bit wider here. And then here I'll go to the graphic styles panel, create a new graphic style and I'll double click on style and call this fixed one. Okay. And just like that, we have a fixed background parallax effect. You want to add more space to the website by click holding and dragging this tab down here and bring this down a little bit so we can see the effect and I'll preview. And as I scroll, we can see that image stays in the background. I can add breakpoints, it does not affect it. So I'll add you know, a few different breakpoints here. So I'll resize the browser. It does not affect the, the movement. So as we can see, at the 480 breakpoint, the effect gets disabled and the entire image is shown within the rectangle. And that's because within the widget options, we have it disabled at the 480 breakpoint so that on smaller devices, mobile devices, the, the image just scrolls with the rest of the website. So I'm going to copy and paste this a few times and change the image just so we can see an example of different images being fixed in the background. So let's see, we'll do this one. And we'll do this one. So you're probably familiar with this effect with the first versions of first versions of Adobe Muse. I have quite a few videos on you know fixed background parallax effects. Uh, this one was made specifically to be able to use within the fluid width design version of Adobe Muse. All right, so I'll add one more. And there we go. So I'll preview. And I'm going to delete the breakpoints up here. Okay, so I'll preview and I'll scroll down and there we have the fixed background parallax effect. So here we can see that we're at the 400 breakpoint and the images just scroll with the rest of the website. So it'll look really nice on mobile devices. And when you get above the 480 breakpoint, the fixed background parallax effect kicks in. All right, so that's it. You just apply the graphic style name to the rectangle that's filled with the image and you have a fixed background parallax effect. Uh, so that's it for the four widgets that were released. Um, I'm, I was really excited to release these widgets to help you do more in Adobe Muse. So again, the widgets are here, image text, scroll show, water ripple effect, and fixed background parallax effect. So to access these widgets, you can simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on join today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. You can also click on the widget individually and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. So if you're part of the subscription already you received an email yesterday and this morning with the four new widgets that have been added to the subscription. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.